The clip I'm about to show you was filmed by Channel 4 inside the US Embassy in London, and it was filmed between November 2017 and January 2018. And it makes several key points that the economy was going to tank, the British government isn't interested in telling people they got it wrong, it's the worst kind of inflation, and it means that Brexit ends up not helping people, and Leavers are absolutely terrified. Considering the riots have happened recently, it seems like this is all coming true. I haven't yet internalized the economy is going to tank, I'd better sit on my cash. The EU27 says, we're a club, here are our rules. You tell us how many of the rules you're prepared to accept, and we'll kind of tell you where in the clubhouse you can go. That is not the British conception of what this is at all. They sort of see it as a negotiation between two equal parties, but the British government is not interested, really, in telling people, you know, this thing that 52% of you said that you wanted, you know, here are the range of options. There's, you know, less good, and then there's very, very bad. And they haven't actually done a lot of sort of macroeconomic modeling of this, almost mm -hmm. like deliberately, like we don't want to know because, you know, leaving, leaving is going to be great and it's what people voted for. So let's not spend government money on analysis that suggests that maybe people got it wrong. You know, growth is starting to slow down, but what we're probably going to see is um, a longer term, slower slide at lower economic growth. Inflation went up from 0.5% to 3%, mm -hmm. so it's quite a significant yeah. increase. And that's not inflation from uh, a growing, bubbly economy. That's inflation from an outside shock. Okay. So that's the worst kind of inflation. That's going to be a problem. This is coming at the end of a long period of austerity. People are very, very tired of it. They're very frustrated by it. And some of those longer term economic issues are some of the things that fuel the Brexit. Yeah. So if Brexit ends up not helping them or not not obviously helping people economically, you know, that could have political knock on yeah. effects. But if I think the economy um, sinks, um, then that's gonna put political pressure on the government. And and for the people that voted to leave. Mm -hmm. They're terrified because yeah. this is something they've been fighting to achieve for almost 40 years. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a generational struggle. They've now won, and they're absolutely terrified that it's going to be snatched away from them.